Podcast. The Guy, Shannon and Clint Podcast. And in studio gonna, with us. Going to have to interrupt you there, Shaz okay. Dog. Okay. Because you can't just drop bombshells like that. <laughs> And then pretend like we're not going to talk about it on air. What? Just a second before we got on air, <laughs> Sharon said, I got a massage two days ago, and I reckon it bruised my breasts because they've been hurting for two days. Yeah, because I was lying on my stomach, and she was pushing so hard, but because I've got such a bad, like, up, like shoulders and stuff, I uh, just didn't tell her to go lighter because I was like, this will be helping out my knots. But then the last two days, my boobs have been real sore. I had to ask my husband, I was like, now, don't make this a sexual thing. But can you just feel my boobs and tell me if they feel different? Because I was freaking out. Then I was freaking out that I was pre dead. I was like, hang on a second. Or oh, the amount of tequila I had on the weekend. And um, oh so God. we figured out that it was definitely uh, from the massage. So, so this is actually what we we're going to talk about as well. 100 The Edge or text in the 3343. What is the weirdest injury you've ever encountered? We weren't supposed to talk about Sharon's weird breast problem. <laughs> We've actually got the lovely <laughs> Megan from the Day Show in the studio. Welcome, Megan. Hello. Megan today, you can't see this. You can't see that Sharon's wearing a hat. You also <laughs> can't see that Megan from the Day Show is wearing an eye patch. Can you pull it down? Because I don't want to... Don't I, I am eyeball. hating seeing what's under there. Like, okay. she looks like a, um, a pirate or a villain... From uh, a villain from a movie or something? Yeah, what happened? What? Well, okay. And don't lie to us and try and blame it on something that wasn't felt. <laughs> okay. Well, the thing is, I, I couldn't make this story up if I tried. I bought a cacti. Oh, yeah. For that the kids the are calling it these days. <laughs> for my friend's 25th, and I was replanting it. And it was one of those cactus that has really fine, not the just thin spikes. It's like fine, almost feathery spikes. Okay, you've, yeah. just, set a, you've just set off on what is easily the dumbest story that yeah. has ever been told. <laughs> right. Continue, right. because it's interesting. Yeah, so I was <laughs> repotting this cactus without gloves or glasses, <laughs> and all these prickles came out. I was like, oh, all good, it's fine. And then this gust of wind blew into my face, oh. and I got all the cactus prickles <laughs> in there, and ended up going to hospital. So did the hospital have to, like... Tweezer out all the, no, the needles not. because they were soft. They, it was just a lot of eye baths and a lot of like looking into it. It's nothing is scratched. I'm not permanently damaged. Oh, that's Your good. Your eye is like three times the size <laughs> and closed today. Well, if you you are a bit permanently damaged if you have Kel wearing that eye patch because that is horrific. <laughs> that is hilarious. So I had a couple of genuine compliments on this today. Yeah, genuine like that's you just, kind of pulled it that's off. That's because you've got real creepy eyes. Was it was it our boss Andrew that you have a crush no, on? Was he like, oh, this there's is one less eye creeping on me today? <laughs> <laughs> 100 The Edge or text into 3343. What's the weirdest injury you've ever had? Let's see if we can top that. Um, we'll go to the phone lines. Sean, how are you, mate? What's, yeah, your, good, weird you. ass, what's your wacky ass injury, bro? Well, I'm, I'm really accident prone, so I'm just currently uh, recovering from two surgeries. But um, okay. I've got a choice for you today. It's either umbrella or yep. nail gun charge. <laughs> so you guys get a choose. Gotta go let's, go, let's go nail gun. Go nail, nail gun. gun. Nail gun. Okay, so um, we had a fire in our backyard, and my mate chucked on three uh, nail gun charges. Um, I thought I was picking up one on the ground that was uh, just there earlier. And as I picked it, up, it was smoking, so as I went to chuck it away, it exploded in my <laughs> hand, and um, yeah, I managed to have surgery on it, but the weirdest thing was, I said to the, the surgeon, oh, something hit me in the chin, and they're like, no, nah, no, nah, your chin's fine. Two months later, I started having shrapnel coming out of my chin. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> she, Sean, you've got issues, mate. Um, oh, sorry, sorry, I need to be right in bubble wrap. <laughs> hey, hey, Sean, sounds like you really got <laughs> nailed, mate. <laughs> That's a good one. Sharon, that is a nailed it, nailed it. We're going to oh, move there's on. Two, there's two. <laughs> no, go home. Sally, what was your weird as injury? Um, well, it wasn't me, it was my husband. Yeah, what did he um, do? He got home from work and decided he was going to be all sophisticated and have a glass of red wine and got the corkscrew out and realised it was broken. So got the super glue out and you know how the super glue gets that hard glued bit on the top? Well, he squeezed it and it shot into his eyeball. <gasps> and the first thing you do when you get glue in your face is put your hand up. So he glued his hand to his eyebrow and his eyelid was glued shut with his eyebrows on the inside of his eyelid. There's oh. one of those moments, eh, when you sit there, Sally, and you go, hmm, I married an idiot. <laughs> well, I wasn't married to him then. I could have got out, but you, I didn't. What are you doing, Sally? <laughs> leave, him, leave him at the hospital. Just drop him off, push him out of the car, and then drive off into the yeah, sunset. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Alan, what was your wacky ass? Sorry about cutting you off. Well, Alan, what was your... I'm learning the phones. What was your wacky ass injury? Um, well, it sounds like you've had a lot of eye injuries today, but mine was also an eye. Good. Um, no, I, I see what you've done there. I <laughs> <laughs> I stupidly enough um, blew up a balloon um, too hard 
Um, and it popped, whiplash like a rubber band, oh, came gosh. back and flicked me in the eye and scratched it. Oh. Um, so, <laughs> cut it off. Was it like doctors. a children's birthday party as well? <laughs> Do you wish? There was, there was actually no reason for me. I was messing around before school. <laughs> Okay, that is okay. bad. That I've, is pretty, pretty bad. I've got to share one more from the text machine. And this, if you're easily squeamish, turn away now. My mate was riding on the deck of a four-wheeled motorbike. His wife, put, who was driving, put on the brakes real hard. He flew off into a tree stump, which probed him in between his anus and his <gasps> member. His gooch! His gooch. He's got a new little little hole to play with. That's horrific, eh? That is horrific. I'm sorry for saying that out loud. I did warn oh. you. And I think that takes a cake. It can't get any worse it, than that. It can't get any worse. We need, we need to move on. We definitely need to move Thanks on. Thanks to everyone who called in. That was, uh, that was enlightening. The Guy's Sharon and Clint podcast. He's just rocked in, eating a burger. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the studio the wonderful, the amazing Red Food! <laughs> Man. Oh, you're back. How are you? How was your burger fuel? Was it good times? Ooh, fueled me right up. Oh, look yeah. out, look out. Well, we haven't seen you since we caught up with you backstage in Australia uh, yeah. at X Factor. What's What's been going on? Oh, everything's been going on. It's it's getting heated. Getting getting I heated, can, eh? I can tell you, uh, not only outside with the temperature... It's getting warmer outside, but on the on the panel, mm-hmm. I'm telling you, it's heating <laughs> up. Oh, it's so like X Factor Australia right now. I've started getting addicted. I'm really into uh, the girl, and I never remember her name, but she did an amazing version of Bang Bang. And Regan, yes, Regan, that's yes. the girl that I love. Yes, she is amazing. She is amazing. She is truly uh, a wonder. I, I think no matter what happens. She yep. could go global. Totally agree. Yeah. I, I, I totally agree. I'm going to be honest with you. I love Danny Minogue more than life itself. Okay. <laughs> and if there's any way next time you could bring her as well, that would be very helpful. And can I also say that last time we saw you, mm. this was an awkward situation. We told you, we're like, hey, Red Food, are you going to Kanye tonight? And you're like, I didn't know Kanye was on tonight. Yeah. Next thing we see, yeah. we go to the Kanye concert. You're there in the VIP mm-hmm. with Kim Kardashian. We're like, Red Food, Red Food, let us in. You don't want to have a bar of us, mate. Ah, uh, man. Man, I had to one up you. And the, no, because and the, you mentioned it. I said, "Oh, okay. Well, watch this. Watch this." Well, the, also, the, also the thing was is that uh, we lost something around where Kanye and Kim were going to be coming out. We just happened to be there yeah. when they walked out, and then you walked out. Were you just hanging out with them after the show? I was. I was. What were they um, up to? Any any good stories? They are just um, so good, cool, mm. and they're so like just sweet. I mean, it just. It you know th- there was a little after party, um, after, and uh, we were listening to old school hip hop and, awesome. and just having a good time. I've got to ask you, how yeah. do you break through into this wonderful world of the Illuminati, where you in the morning <laughs> can find out from some losers like us that Kanye's playing, and the next day, the next hour, get backstage at the concert? How do you do? You like call? Does there just some sort of random celebrity number that goes, hey, I'm a celebrity, get me backstage with K- K- Kim and Kanye? It's all top secret. So when you mentioned it, I knew everything about it. Oh. But it was just something that I had to just, you know, do a it's little... because he's in the Illuminati as well. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know? And right now we're doing an AMA where people can ask absolutely anything. And you can ask anybody. Go ahead and ask anybody. Yeah, you can ask anybody. Anything, anything, anything. So before we get into that, we just heard your song, Red Foo. You just heard our song. Like, any, lo- I- any feedback? First thing I thought was, let's get a feature. Let oh, me yeah. get you guys on the album. <laughs> you, yeah, you, you call us. You yeah. call us. We're, we're definitely into it. Can I just say that I reckon you're full of shit? Oh, whoa! We'll move on right. to the first question. You know what? That is a very good assessment because I just <laughs> ate a burger. So obviously... <laughs> Honestly, you know what's coming next. Literally. <laughs> well, we've got some of your fans on the phone right now. They want to ask you some questions. Sharon, what's your question for Red Foo? Hello? Me? Yeah, you the, you, <laughs> that's your time, name. Baby. Yeah. See, what's your question? Um, I wanted to firstly ask, what does he do in his spare time? And secondly, where does he get all the cool lyrics? Because it's such feel-good music. It's awesome. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Well, well, I love to play tennis. 
yeah. in my spare time and uh, take long walks uh, on the uh, coastline. <laughs> oh, did I see you motorbiking or something the other day? I love to motorbike. I only know that because I, I was love, following you. I love to motorbike and I love to motorboat. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> don't look at me when you say motorboat. What? Well, <laughs> motorboat just, I'm talking to you. Yeah, well, I, I felt like you. I don't. Never mind. Okay. okay. What was your okay. other question, Sharon? <laughs> <laughs> Well, clearly we know where you get the lyrics from now. But yeah, where, where does he get all the, the lyrics and, and all that sort of thing? Uh, I just, I love uh, to entertain. I love to be funny. I used to do stand-up comedy. Um, no, I do sit-down comedy. <laughs> why did you, what, what, she just cracked herself up. <laughs> why did you stop She's such comedy? a Sharon. Um, the music was calling me. Okay. And I didn't want to fuse the two. Yeah. I didn't want to be the guy that has the keyboard and is like, <laughs> I'm a comic, but I play. Yeah. Um, it's either just stand up, standing up, doing raw or or, yeah. or or doing music. So I just infused the comedy into the music. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And uh, it was it's very exciting. That's fair. I did not know that. What I do know is that you've got a, um, a little bit of a web series happening on YouTube. And it is yeah. hilarious. It's oh, really, I, it, I urge our listeners to check that out because it's, it's really crack up. Next up on 0800 The Edge, we got a question from Caitlin. What's your question for Red Foo? Um, Hi. What's your biggest regret? Oh. My biggest That's regret... Serious. Is um, woo, that's a good one. Uh, in your whole life, my biggest regret in my whole life is actually something recently. Is um, actually hiring the sexy sax man for my video. Okay, because I, everywhere we're together, he takes all the girls now. Aww. He's too sexy for me. <laughs> He's just with us. Anybody with a saxophone is gonna one up. I don't care. I mean, I had the wiggle, I shuffle, I got a good <laughs> wink. It doesn't matter. When when someone has a saxophone, <laughs> they will get the chicks every time. We've got so many people on the line that want to talk to you, Red Foo, so we're going we're gonna to fire through them. Jamie, what's your question for Red Foo? Oh, my God. What? Oh, oh sorry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you were so cute. Right now. Um, yeah. um, what was the artist that influenced you the most? Oh, wow, question. the most probably Michael Jackson. Uh, <laughs> or or Run DMC. Oh yeah. The, that's, the, that's the rap a, the rap gods. That is two very, very high quality things. Though I every time I interview I always uh have to bring up the time you dance on stage with Michael Jackson. Because yes. I feel like that's something that you should bring up every time because it's such a cool thing to be able to say about yourself. <laughs> yeah, it was so amazing. Uh, dancing on stage, I had the jacket, so the good. zippers. <laughs> keep, keep the questions so coming. Jealous. Nolan, what's your question for the wonderful Red Foo? Um, I'd like to ask you, how, how, what's it like being like, this famous and how, um, how's the life with X Factor? Um, well, you know, life being famous is, is pretty fun, I must say. It's part of the reason why I put so much effort into my music and all this stuff because I had been doing it before. Yeah. And you can do your music and, and not be famous and yeah. just get it, you know, and on the social networks and with the friends. And I wanted to experience, you know, are the rumors true? <laughs> you know, do the do the do the big musicians do they get the the chicks? You know, do they yeah. you know do they do Yeah, it's true. I- <laughs> It's too many, um, you know. But and and I just wanted to create a world doing something that I truly loved. Yeah. And then figure out how to make money doing that. And um, and yeah. so that was amazing. And the X Factor is really amazing because there's so many talented musicians, and just every week there's a new show, and you're part of, you know, help mentoring, you know, uh, contestants. And you really get to change lives and watch them grow right in front of you, and it is yeah, very exciting. That, that is an ama- that is an amazing opportunity. When I um, when I first met you today, uh, I asked you it must be shambolic coming to New Zealand having all this press thrown at you. Yeah. And you immediately said, "I've got to come to New Zealand and get my Tinder on straight away." <laughs> straight away. <laughs> and uh, people on the text machine are saying they swiped right for you. So you genuinely are here in Auckland at the moment on Tinder. Yeah. And your radar is happening. 
it is it is happening. You know, I like to I like to refer to the you know the girls as Bay, so I like to say my Baydar <laughs> okay. is in full effect. Just to let everyone in Auckland know that is a possibility. Wait. Hannah, what's your question for Red Foo? Yeah, um, my question is when with your first like I guess. When you first broke through, what was the first big thing you treated yourself to? Oh. Did I, ch- did I change myself you, to? You the treated. first thing you treated yourself treated. to when you first started making money. Ooh. Woo, woo, woo. Um, crazy. I always... <laughs> I don't spend a lot of money. Um, Not on um, lenses for your glasses, anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I, you know... Wow. Let me see. Let me see. Um... Well, you know what I could say is one of the things that's recently... I mean, the first thing, it could have been just like another computer or more Mm. equipment. I'm always buying (laughs) music stuff. Um, But I recently, that had nothing to do with music, is I got uh, a couple motorcycles. Ah, (laughs) And I felt, yeah, I felt like there was was no, like, investment. It was just, just for pure fun and entertainment. And when I'm out here on the X Factor, another thing I did recently is I I rented a house with a tennis court. Okay. And that's been, and it costs a little more money a week to do that, but that is like the kind of like the coolest thing I've you used. Mate, your mate right next to you is, sig- is signaling that you've got nine motorcycles. He's dobbing you in. He no, reckons- no, no. Well, now I have four. Four? No, I got five now. Five? I, yeah. The first You're thing crazy. I did when I got here. Is it five? Can we confirm it's five? He's well, I, in, in Australia, <laughs> in Australia no, it's I, five. I, I had six. It, it, oh, it's going it, up and up. No, I had going. six just here, but yeah. five were loners. I was oh, just testing a bunch out. All right. Okay, we're going to go to our final this two real quick questions from Chris. What's your question? Yeah, hi there, Red Foo. Huge fan, mate. Hey, thank you. Hey, um, I've just got to say, uh, watching the X Factor each week, it's it's awesome. Obviously, you've uh, you're so charismatic, it's awesome. But I'm just wondering, is there secretly something going on between you and Regan? Oh, <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. Oh. Because what would, she, uh, what would she say about the whole Tinder thing, mate? Yeah, I try to I try to keep it. Um, I try to. You know what? I actually uh, I showed her the Tinder. You know, uh, but it's always it's Wait always. Wait a second. Are you hooking up with like one of your mentors? No, 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 not hooking up. But it's always it's a classy thing. You don't you don't bring it around the, just a, any girl. You right, know what right. I mean? Like, hey, look at me. Uh, Shit. Well, I'm getting that wrong because I only learned about Tinder the other day, and I was like doing it in front of my husband. Like this is so much. <laughs> Yeah. Didn't go down well. Yeah, you yeah, don't. Yeah. 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 I yeah, found yeah. a couple of bands, so. <laughs> then you, just in case. Then you got to go down after <laughs> that, that. That was amazing. We've got quick time for one more question. Alex? Yeah, um, I was just wondering where do you get your shorts from that are in your music videos, the ones with the animal prints on? Oh, yeah. We, we make those, and you can get them on lafreak.com. Those are the freak, baby. That is amazing. It's like Alex was from his uh, his company trying yeah. to plug the brand. Look, freak, I, I check think, it out. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you looking for a job? Do you ship to New Zealand? Oh, uh, we do. We you ship do? worldwide. Okay. Uh, we ship everywhere, especially uh, to New Zealand. <laughs> he bought a suitcase into the comp- company. He's selling them out of the back yeah. of his van. And you know what? If we get uh, Alex's information, I will give him a discount. Wow. On Ooh. some La Freak stuff. Wait, wait, right. hold the line, Alex. Just wait right there. Well, if you want to get more Red Foo, go to LaFreak.com or get his new song, New Thing, on iTunes. The Guy Sharon and Clint podcast. And in studio right now, we've got the wonderful Sophie from hey. Johnny Show. Hey. This drink is so good. <laughs> and yeah. right now, we're going to do with you an AMA. Are you ready for this? A what? An AMA. What does that mean? Well, we'll just play the music and let's find out. Okay. And you can ask anybody. Go ahead and ask anybody. <laughs> yeah, you can <laughs> ask anybody. <laughs> anything, anything, anything. That's me singing. Oh yes. my. That's him, not me. It's him Whoa. and one of the other boys. <laughs> So We're going to do an AMA with you, which is when our listeners can ring up and ask you anything. Okay. Oh, Are guys. you ready for that? I don't know if I am. It's terrifying. We, we, did it with, oh. we did it with James last week. He survived. He, he came out it. unscathed. You can't, you, okay? can't, you can't screw it up. It's like, you know, it's like anything in life. As long as you're honest, you'll be all right. I'm surprised because James is quite bad under pressure. Well, <laughs> he, he did quite he well. He freaks out. Gaz's was... Oh, God. Gaz, Gaz and oh. Ricky's were insane. God, they, no. That's the stuff that came out of their mouths. all about a 
all sniff. Yes, bet, oh, a lot God. of them were. A lot of them were. And Charlotte, I bet all his questions were Charlotte as well. So, yeah, he, he, he deflected those pretty quickly. So, 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 God, so, so, Godspeed and good luck. Let's start the AMA right now. And oh. I'm going to ask you because you were just giving me some crap. What do you honestly <laughs> think about the name Guy? Well, I just don't understand. Like, <laughs> at, right, at, is that physically on your passport? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's like, it's Guy. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, hi, guys. Hi, Guy. <laughs> That's really my name. <laughs> I just don't understand. My so you're a Guy, but you're called Guy. My parents uh, didn't think about it at all. Okay. He, we... just, he just came out. They're like, it's a boy. We can't call it boy. We'll call it what, Guy. What do you just call girl? Okay, 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 exactly. Enough, enough about me. Enough about me. Let's what go to Maddie. What do we call vagina? Maddie. No. <laughs> no, no, no. no. What's your question Hello? for Sophie? Hi. Hi, Hi Sophie. My Hi. question for you was, how come you're my favourite on the Geordie Shore? How come you had to leave and were you ever be coming back? Do you know what? It's very, very hard. Like, in the house, you do... It is... It's not as what you think. And obviously, Marnie came into the house, who was my cousin. Yeah. And from that, it was really, really hard for me to actually, like, be in the house with my relative because I didn't know that was actually going on. And she behaved like... A totally different way to what I've knew all my life, and you know yeah. it started getting a lot harder for me. Obviously, I've got a relationship in the house, which is Joel. Mm. Oh my god, excuse me. You're right. Oh my it's god, right. it's the drink. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it was really hard, and then from t- like I'm 25 years old now, and you know everyone's starting to move on and yeah. different things and event. Like, don't get us wrong, I would love to go back for a one-off, but... I really wish you could I come know, back and babe, visit, because Jay know. comes back all the time. No, Jay is so lucky, but I don't know, I think my life's so different now, and I just think I've grown up a well, lot. I follow you on Instagram and Do everything, you? and you seem, a, yeah, you, you seem a lot more like grown up and everything oh now. God, oh and I'm really God, hoping I'm I get boring, to meet you no, tonight. I'm, I'm a cover of course boring. <laughs> no! I think You're I've got to like, post a phone up on now. Never you, a dull moment. Uh-huh. Well, We've got tons more questions to ask. You. Let's keep them coming. Oh. Call her on line four. What's your question? Hello? Um, excuse me? Hi! Oh! Hi. What's your question for Sophie? Um, why did you leave, Joe? Uh, why did... Oh, we just answered, we just answered this oh. one, honey. It's, is, is it annoying getting that question all the time? That's my question. Nah, everyone wants to know, but, like, it's just seen the same thing because, all the time. Because, no, because what interests me, because I was just reading about it on the old um, tabloids, for a start, my first question is, do you hate the tabloids? Are they bloody annoying? They're just so, bu- like, very bull... Bullcrap. Yeah, bull yeah they spin the truth a lot. Yeah, you've got to be careful. Like, yeah. anything, any little thing, the media make it a thousand times worse. Yeah. Even normal people these days, if they do something wrong, like, it'll be in the paper and it escalated so much. So when you left, they said it was because you said something racist. Mm-hmm. Um, what do you, how does that make you feel? Did, did you hate that? Well, or did you get a chance to I'm defend not, yourself? If I, if I was really racist, then I think people would know by now. <laughs> like, I've been on the show for four years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so if yeah. I was racist, then obviously I would I wouldn't even have been yeah, especially the show. especially when you've yeah. been that hammered on the show exactly. so many times it, it, it's, it's honestly ridiculous and it was just like a little thing was blown out of proportion and it wasn't on camera or anything. did you get a chance to apologize did you get a chance to like publicly go hey if no. I did say saying that was offensive I'm sorry no nah, I just had to like obviously keep short like I shouldn't even like be talking about it now I get oh, wrong man. for it okay. yeah oh, right. okay no, sorry we'll stay fine. away no it's fine but like obviously I just I never really had a chance to any, say anything but okay. I'm obviously not Racist. Like yeah. if I was, then I think people would know about it. I think if I anything think it's in absolutely the disgusting racism, if I'm honest. My my yeah. dad's from Iran. My dad's my my grandmother can't even speak English. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Like fully, fully Persian, and like my dad's like Muslim, and you know we've got. Hey, totally. very well said, and it is yeah. disgusting. Let's keep on going to the phone lines. Line five. Do you have a question? Oh God, you. Hi. I my can't work the phone. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's just wanted to use the phone. He's like, you've got people there to talk to. What was your question for Sophie? Hi, Sophie. My name's Deli. Hi, Deli. What How are you? in a sandwich, Deli? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, oh yes. I was in, like, the Indian place, Deli. <laughs> <laughs> What's your question? Um, are you and Joel still together? Yeah. Oh, I know. We've that's been, sweet. I know, well, we've been, like, we've had on and off for so long, but we've been together now for, like, three and a half years, and it's been so hard going through TV, on yeah. a TV show with yeah. Joel. Obviously, we've had the biggest ups and downs everyone's seen. There was one time in Mexico, he, like, put, yes. he put sun cream on a girl's back, and everyone's like, 
<laughs> oh my god, he's cheating on her. Well, he physically wasn't in bed with someone, so it wasn't that bad. And there's been times when I've been in bed with boys, but they've never shown it. So good for me. Yeah, not so I've, I've come across like the good one. <laughs> so Joel's had it in the neck. But yeah, he, he's had stick, but we'll just laugh it off. Really. So that, that gets rid of this text question I've got, which is, um, can I? Uh, can we hook up? While you're in Auckland, uh, so I can brag. I what, guess. Are, what are like what are people from New, New Zealand boys like? Because I know like in, <laughs> very in Australia, well, they're like very like the full package. I would describe yeah. New Zealand boys as eclectic. There's so many different sorts of them. Cool, just right? cool guys there's like, like me. Oh, like you guys. There's yeah. cool, guys, cool guys, blokey guys. guys. Cool. Yeah, there's. Well, I thought there's only one cool guy. <laughs> Oh, don't tell him that. that don't tell him that. Quality, if you've got any questions, this is your last chance to get them through to talk to Sophie from the Geordie Shore. She's going to go to the question for the AMA. Oh, it's such a podcast. We have uh, Amy on the phone. Amy, what is your question? Hi, Sophie. <laughs> hi, um, hi, hi. How's it going? Sophie, how's <laughs> it going? Sorry, I'm just uh, looking sorry, around. That's not like, my question. What are you going on in here? <laughs> um, my question is, I've watched all the seasons of Geordie Shore like multiple times, and there's definitely been a few cringe Go on, hey, hey. Multiple wondering. times you've watched Geordie Shore. <laughs> yeah, it's it's yeah. on on Sundays. Yeah, it'll be a marathon. Then. But don't re- like watch it once. <laughs> fine, enjoy it. But is it really so? The- no, it's always better the second time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You always see so is. many things that you didn't see before. Does it not make you dumber, Sophie, if you watch it twice? No. no! Of course not. It makes you learn more. It makes you more streetwise. Educational. Okay. Okay. Sorry, Amy. What's your question? Anyway, so I was just wondering, when you're watching it back and watching your stuff on TV, mm. do you have like any regrets and just really wish that you hadn't done something? Well, I'm not going to lie. When the show first came out, um, it was really hard because obviously this is the first thing we've ever done. I used to work in a call centre. And my parents didn't know what it was about. And, you know, to be <laughs> honest, I didn't know what was going to be shown. So I remember it used to be on on a Tuesday in the UK and it was on like nine o'clock at night. We used to, I used to go and watch it at a friend's house and I knew my parents would be watching. And then my parents didn't ring us um, for, like, Wednesday, Thursday. So do you know what I did? I stayed out from the Tuesday oh, no. until the Sunday. I went home and they still didn't talk to us. Then the next week it came on. By the time Sunday comes, it's on again in two days. And I was like, oh, my God, I think this is, like, when I do something really bad. So um, I used to go out again on a Tuesday. And as time went on, I think my dad just stopped watching altogether. Yeah. My mum used to record it and then fast-forward it to, the, like, after the ruby. Yeah. Okay, but this, that- is, this is hilarious, but... <laughs> Also, so awkward. So awkward. Oh, what sort of it, stuff? Especially the scene when, yeah, in the yeah, DJ booth with yeah. your boyfriend. I know. Okay. They would have, I would have been my mortified. Mom's, my mum's really cool, but obviously, like I said, like my dad's obviously like Iranian. It's totally different, like in their country so, and everything. So, so, are you cool now with your dad? Oh, I mean, my dad's so cool. He knows everything. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, how could he not know? I know. Well, he knows. Like, obviously, <laughs> I, I get to do things like this from it. So you know, he's like, well, just do what you got to do. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay, so. okay. We got our last two <laughs> questions for Sophie from the Geordie Show. We've got James. What's your question? Hi, Sophie. Hi, James. How are you, babe? Hi, um, I was wondering if Geordie School was uh, scripted. No, I was just been saying this, but right? there is nothing you can really do on Geordie Short for it to be scripted. Like, how can anyone pretend to be drunk? You can't pretend to be in bed with someone. Like, we are not actors or actresses. We used, we started off, like, on, like, bad jobs, call centre work, and I've never been acting school in my life, so... No, it's not scripted, unfortunately. Sometimes I wish it bloody was, so I could have an excuse. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> nah, it's not. Sorry, babe. And the final question from Emily. What would you like to know? Hi, Sophie. Hi, Emily. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. I'm excited to be here. Um, my question for you is, what's a moment from Geordie Shaw that you'll never forget? Um, right, okay. I think if it was any moment, because obviously we've done this for four years, and the main moment that stands out for us is when I first went into the house, um, there was a girl standing in the corner, and she had no bra on, and, you know, I nipples were very on point. Um, and I looked over and I said, oh, hi, what's your name? She was like, hiya, my name's Charlotte Letitia. I was like, all right, nice to meet you. And she went, nice to meet you. I was like, all right, um, so so how's it going? She went, well, I'd just like to tell you something. I went, what? She went, um, I need the toilet and I need a poo. And I said, all right, okay. She went, will you come upstairs and have a poo lasagna no! with me? No! And I was like, right, okay. okay. And then from that, me and Charlotte in the hot tub and we're best okay, friends. Okay, oh, okay, okay. Poo lasagna. That Sophie, is awesome. We are, we are blessed to hear that poo lasagna story. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing with us. You're welcome. We're a lot smarter for hearing it. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the wonderful Sophie. Yay! Yay! It's bloody on the internet, isn't it? One of these, uh, these bloody podcast things.